Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a full face using <laughs> my mum's makeup. Interesting. This video was requested to me. I actually have always had it in my head to do one of these videos and I kept on putting it off and then I just thought, you know what, screw it. <laughs> I'm just going to take keys into her room with her permission. I'm actually currently just waiting for her to taste back actually. And we are going to select out of her makeup collection a full face. <laughs> okay everyone, so this is basically where my mum keeps all her makeup and down here is where she keeps her bras. So I'm just going to try and keep it up here <laughs> because I only got permission to show off her makeup, not her um, not her underwear. <laughs> I'm just going to go through all of this and try and find a full face of makeup. So as we can see, we have primer, foundations. I'm guessing that this bag here is where she keeps most of her makeup. We have a few lipsticks. I'm seeing a MAC here, which is actually quite good. Yes, yeah, so I'm not going to use her new YSL foundation because she'll probably knock me out. The foundation that she does use is actually the Ordinary Foundation, so I'll probably be using that. Okay, so that was actually harder than I expected. <laughs> Um, so obviously I'm just going to apply all of this makeup the way I usually would in my usual routine so I think we should just get into it. She did have quite a few primers so this is the one that kind of appealed to me the most. So this is the Ordinary High Silicone Primer. The primer seems to be okay. It's definitely actually made my skin feel quite soft. <laughs> um, okay so for foundation, foundation is going to be a wee bit of a tricky one because my mum would actually be naturally darker skinned than me. Her foundation is not going to match me, but whenever I realised that, I actually noticed that she has two foundations to choose from, so I'm just going to try and shade match myself if I can. So this is the foundation that she uses all the time. Um, so this is the Ordinary Full Coverage Foundation. She is in the shade 2. 0 N. And then the next foundation she has is number 7 Lift and Eliminate Triple Serum Foundation. Yeah. I thought I was bad. <laughs> My god. So that's the number 7 and then that's the Ordinary. Hold it. I have just realised she has two shades in the ordinary foundation so the one that i just dolloped on my hand is in the shade 2.0 yg so this one is 2.0 m do you know what we're just going to try the ordinary foundation and i because i actually haven't tried this foundation before and i'm actually quite queen queen keen to try it. I actually remember whenever she just got this foundation she thought it was honestly the best thing ever because it was so affordable. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? <laughs> not only is it definitely not my colour, it is a horrible foundation. I do not like this at all. It has zero coverage, it's patchy, it's not blending out. But this is the concealer that she uses. I've mentioned this in one of my videos before. So this is the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser Eye Concealer. Not very hygienic, the fact that I'm going to be using this on my face the way she does. But um, I came out of her, so it's not really an issue. <laughs> She's my mum. So she might um, chin me for this, but I'm going to use quite a lot of this. So I'm just going to blend this concealer in just with a, a dry beauty sponge and kind of hope that it kind of helps me out a bit. With this next step, I actually forgot that this was going to be a bit of a struggle. So my mum doesn't set her face with any setting powder, obviously because she is um, more mature. She has more mature skin than myself. She prefers a dewy look, she prefers a dewy setting spray, she prefers a dewy foundation. I did find this little thing and this is the poor professional agent zero shine thing so i'm going to try and set my face with this um because it is like a wee mini i'm not really wanting to use it up so i'm just going to set my under eyes and mainly my t-zone with this i've never heard of this in my life um benefit cosmetics is very foreign to me actually i don't actually think i own very much from benefit apart from their hula bronzer a few of their eyebrow products and that's about it. <laughs> that powder has darkened up everywhere I placed it. Bitch, please. 
Highlight was also a very difficult um, thing to find in my mom's room. Honestly, I'm disgusted. Shame on you for not having a single highlighter, mother. Or maybe that's my fault. Maybe I should give you some. I think we all know that I live and I breathe highlight and I was, um, I was very hurt <laughs> that she didn't have a highlighter. We have this Makeup Revolution thing, which is the Renaissance Glow. So I just kind of look at this and I picture um, the Charlotte Tilbury Sculpt and Glow palette. I think that's what it's called. So I'm going to use a bit of this highlight. Oh no, that's actually quite nice. <clears throat> that's actually quite a nice highlighter. I might actually use the contour powder in it as well because I think the bronzer has shimmer through it and I do not do a shimmering bronzer. I feel like such a traitor not using flexitarian. <laughs> Don't you ever say I just walked away I will always want you. <laughs> this one's actually quite funny. Next up we're going for blush. <laughs> What is, what is this? What, what is this? This is by, again, Makeup Revolution and this is the Vivid Baked Blusher in the shade Make Love Instead. Hmm. I wonder is that my mum's life motto? Little minx. I actually really like that. My cheeks are looking a wee bit shimmery though. I'm going to use the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish and this is in the shade Global Glow. Um, so this does have a shimmer through it, so I'm not too sure how that's going to work. So I'm going to take just this wee compact again. I'm going to go in with the contour shade first, and then I might top it with this. I think I need everybody to pray for me right now, because next up we have eyebrows. I have two eyebrow pencils now. <laughs> I don't do eyebrow pencils. I need a pomade for my eyebrows, or should I say my non-existent eyebrows. And we also have a wee mini brow kit. Two pencils, they are both from Avon. And this wee brow kit is from Barry M, and it is in the shade light to medium. How is one human supposed to work with something like this? This feels so wrong on so many levels. <laughs> I'm actually going to swap to my eyebrow brush because it's thinner. And as you can see, it is the size for a human, not a fucking hobbit or the borrowers. Okay, so that actually doesn't look too bad. Oh, it doesn't even need tidied up, I don't think, because I don't actually think it looks that bad. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't actually think it looks that bad. So I'm now just going to start on the eyes. She has quite a lot of like single shadows and like Avon quads. Then we have a wee Freedom eyeshadow. We have a Bourjois Intense eyeshadow. And I've noticed that there actually isn't a transition shade. So I'm just going to grab the contour and highlight palette again. So I'm just going to take this contour shade. I'm just going to be popping this just in the crease just to act as my transition shade. So I'm going to take this bourgeois eyeshadow. And I'm just going to grab this freedom shade. I'm just going to grab this on a slightly smaller blending brush. So I'm just going to be doing my Go to smoky eye by the way, not gonna do anything colourful. <laughs> and kind of just feather at those edges, just kind of blend those three shades together a bit more. So I'm just going to jump onto mascara. So I'm going to use the Benefit Roller Lash. I actually think she's used this yet. I'm gonna use it for the first time for her. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm not even joking, it's not very often a mascara can impress me, but I'm actually quite impressed by that. So, my mum actually loves MAC lip liners, so anytime it's Christmas or birthdays or whatever, or just whatever, <laughs> um, me and my sister will always get her like a MAC lip liner or something. I just kind of picked out the shade that would be my kind of shade, which is Deverish. Everybody has their own taste whenever it comes to lipstick, and I personally do think that 
if you are more mature, you do like to have a lipstick that has more colour in it. But you don't like to go for anything that is too nude and is going to completely wash the colour out of your face and your lips and just kind of drain you. So my mum is obsessed with shades that are like this colour if not like slightly more pink toned, rose toned. Those are not my shades. <laughs> um, so I wanted to go for something more nude. So I kept on searching and I kinda dug deeper into the back and kind of blew off the bit of the dust and I found these. So these are by Kiko and they are a pencil a lip gloss. So looking at the bottom, these are more my shades. I would say this one, because this one's more of like a true nude and it has more colour in it. So I think I might go for this one. We have a scent spray. And the fact that my mum even sets her face actually really shocks me. So this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So everyone, this is the completed look and do you know what? I am honestly very, very surprised. I think this video was a success. Honestly, I would say like looking at my face on camera, you can definitely not tell that I used a full face off my mum's makeup. Me on the other hand, looking in the mirror, I can tell. I'm not shagging my own ass or anything, but let's just be realistic my products are slightly better than my mom's makeup um my makeup is always suited to me i can definitely tell a difference in my skin my skin doesn't look as perfect as it usually is everything else looks fine the eyes looks fine i was very surprised with the mascara the mascara really really impressed me and it takes it takes a hell of a mascara to impress me because mascaras don't tickle my fancy at all because I just stick lashes on anyway and I don't give them a chance. Um, the Makeup Revolution We Compact actually surprised me with the contour and the highlight. Oh, and the eyebrows. The eyebrows really surprised me as well. I'm very, very happy with that, although I did off camera go and tidy them up underneath with a bit of concealer. Overall, I actually think this video was a great success. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Don't forget forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter. They'll all be linked and listed down below in the description box and I hope to see you all in my next one.